past two days we haven't done much of anything except wander around and enjoy life just in general I'll probably package it all into one big giant video this morning we are going to take the Jeep on a trail because we're just not in the mood to go walking on a trail this morning it's it's difficult to find and I need to I, I need to look up um, some trails outside the national park some short shorter you know four or five mile tra trails outside of the national park because since you know we can't get into bear lake area we're extremely limited on the short trails mm -hmm. and we like to do we like to mix it up do a long trail do a short trail do a long trail do a no, short no, trail no 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 it's more like do a long trail do three short trails do a long trail do three short yeah, well, trails whatever i mean but <laughs> Well, um, to be honest, <laughs> we, we can't we can't do that because the bulk of the shorter trails are in the Bear Lake area. So, yeah, it's and, actually messing with our vacation even more than I expected. Yeah, it, to. It, it is. I mean, don't get us wrong; it's not bringing us down, no, no. but it is interfering with what what we normally do on mm -hmm. vacation out here. It's it is irritating. I'm not gonna lie; it's irritating. Yeah, and if I saw the superintendent of the Rocky Mountain National Park, I'd let him know that it's irritating, but it's not going to stop my vacation from being enjoyable. But I do need to find some other trails outside of the National Park that would be good to go. But we don't on. get badges for those for our, for our backpack. <laughs> but anyway, we're going down to uh, Bunce School Road and then over to T33 Crash Site, which is... Oh, is that what we're doing today? Yeah. You were, you've been looking at that one. It, it, it's a training, Air Force training uh, flight that crashed. And I, we'll just have to find out together when we get to it. The, because there is a sign up there that tells you all the story about it. That's where we're heading this morning. So. Sounds very sad to me. Eh. We're in a sad kind of mood. It kind of fits. Okay.
tell you what, that was the rowdiest section of off-roading that I've done in that Jeep. It was crazy. It's and, and we've got to go back through it. A little spoiler alert, if you're watching this video, we made it. <laughs> Faith in humanity plus one. <laughs> I, it, it's now I know there are a lot of pieces of the plane that aren't there, um, but a lot of little pieces, you know, stuff that you could throw in the trunk of your car. Well, you're not getting your car up here, I guess. <laughs> And stuff you can throw in the back seat, you know, just as souvenirs or whatever. And it doesn't look like it's been treated like that at all. Yeah, it seems it, the sign says to be respectful, and but that doesn't usually stop people. Yeah. But I think people have been respectful. It's a really interesting place. What a trail to get up here, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I, oh, I don't know if a stock Jeep, yeah, maybe a stock Jeep could do it. Depends on how much, uh, well, the Cherokee wasn't doing so bumping well. and grinding you're, you're able to stomach. I don't know. You need just scraping across rocks and stuff on a brand. I don't know. I don't know. But it was fun. It's going to be fun again because we got to go back down it. Um, <laughs> Might as well make it fun. <laughs>